everybody, Thrifty Teresa here. It is time for another weekly sales report for eBay and Etsy. Uh, this week was another small week. I only sold three items, uh, two items on the Etsy Vintage Shop and one item on eBay. Um, so since sales were slow, my numbers are small also. My net profit um, after fees, after shipping, after cost of goods, etc., etc., was $41.47. That comes out to an average of $13.82 per item. I've got my little post it note here so I can give you those number details. Um, I'll show you here in a minute of the things that I sold, but I wanted to sort of address something. Um, I had some comments recently in the past week or so, uh, especially after my last monthly report for the month of April, where I showed everybody my total numbers for Etsy, eBay, Amazon, and stuff like that. And it was pretty good, I thought, that I made over $700 uh, last month, and uh, that's great. I know other people out there make $700 a week doing this um, selling thing. And that doesn't bother me. Most of you know that I've got a full-time job. Um, this selling thing is a part-time thing. It's starting out as a bit of a hobby. It's a nice thing to learn so that if the time comes where I would need to depend on it for money, that I know that I would be able to ramp things up and scale things up and try to make it full-time income. Um, I've been doing this selling thing now fairly seriously for about six months um, and only making $700 in profit a month is fantastic for me. I am... I don't have grand plans. My plans have always been since the very beginning to help my father out, make a little money for himself on the items that he has collected over the years, help him clean out his house. He's wanting to downsize and maybe get a smaller place to live. Um, and um, just... You know, he is my number one inspiration. He has been since day one. I've shared this story with you guys many times, um, but it is serious to me. I want to help him out. So the last few weeks, I have not been listing very much on eBay and Etsy because I've been doing a lot of Amazon shipments and I've been shipping off a lot of stuff uh, from my dad. So Amazon sales are doing pretty well this week. Um, I won't go into the numbers on that. I'll save that for later. But um, my my point is is that I don't make a lot of money off of this, and that is okay. It's okay for me because I don't compare myself to other sellers out there. I am not a selling guru by any means. I've been using eBay and Etsy and Amazon for years as a buyer and a little bit as a seller over the years. Um, but again, I'm not wanting to make this full-time work. I've already got full-time work and that is <laughs> hard enough as it is than uh, trying to create a huge number business for myself. Um, I watch a lot of inspiring people who have done that though for themselves and that's fantastic. Again, I'm learning the process and if I ever needed to, I will certainly ramp up. So I've had some comments recently about thanking me for my honesty, showing my actual numbers and showing you guys each week what I sell. Um, being very transparent with what's going on in my little business. Um, my honesty is really important to me and I appreciate that other people see that I'm being honest. But I also want to be really clear that when I have weeks like this where I'm only selling two or three items a week, that's okay. I don't really get down in the dumps about it because I'm not... Uh, needing this to support my life. Um, it is fun. I'm having a great time and I want it to continue that way. So I appreciate all of you who watch me whenever I put out these silly videos. I hope that my 
numbers don't I guess I, I hope my numbers don't bother you. I don't want you guys to see, oh, well, she's only sold three items this week. You know, I'm not going to, you know, be able to sell a whole lot either because she's not doing very well. That's not true. You get what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. So I haven't been listing a lot. I haven't been selling a lot on eBay and Etsy. I've been sending a lot of stuff to Amazon and things are selling on Amazon. That's another video. But I don't want people who are new to this uh, reselling business to get discouraged when they see people like me who, I make these videos to try to be helpful. I don't ever want anybody to compare themselves to me. So don't compare your business to my business because my business is probably going to be a lot different than yours. Um, I, I'm, I'm rambling a bit here, but I just want, I want to help people, um, you know, if you have questions about selling, of course, I'm not a guru. I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know everything about the business, and I'm certainly not making a lot of money, <laughs> but I do think that I can help folks. So if you have questions, please ask me questions. I would love to be able to help you out. If you ask me a question that I don't know the answer to, that's awesome, because then I can go research it and learn a little bit of something for myself. So you guys help me learn just as much as I hope that I help you guys learn too. So um, anyway, <laughs> forgive the serious nature of this video. Go look at the crap that I sold this week and um, maybe sales will be better next week. That would be great. I have been listing a lot more uh, this week, um, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. First sale of the week comes from eBay. We've got two new old stock uh, photo albums. Um, I don't know exactly how old these are, but um, I think they're a little on the older side. Uh, these are sealed though. Uh, this one does have a little bump on the corner, but you've got a cream one and a gray colored one. Um, I sold both of these together on eBay uh, for I accepted a best offer of $15. I have them listed for almost a whole month um, at $20. I received an offer for $15 plus shipping, so I took it. Uh, both of these are easily going to fit in a regional A shipping box to save a little money uh, on priority shipping, so that's nice. I got these two photo albums at the Goodwill Weigh and Pay uh, when me and Dad went. Um, I did not pay by the pound on these, and I'm thankful because it's pretty darn heavy. I don't know exactly how much it is, but I estimate it's probably around the five pound mark uh, for both of these photo albums. And um, anyway, they just had me pay for them separately at the price of a book price, which I think the books at the Weigh and Pay were hardcover books were a dollar or something like that. I don't really remember. Uh, all I know is that we paid seven dollars, or yeah, seven dollars that day for a whole load of stuff, um, including these two photo albums. So first sale of the week, fifteen dollars plus shipping. I forgot to take a video of this before I packaged it up. Uh, that seems to be a trend. I usually miss about one thing a week, uh, forgetting to take pictures of them. Uh, this was a sale in my vintage Etsy shop in uh, the middle of the week and it is two pieces of what is called wood slice art. Um, I may have had these in a haul video a while back, I, I don't really remember. I got both of these at a uh, thrift store for 99 cents each and um, they are of course uh, with Mary and Jesus. You can see in the pictures here that they're decoupaged on a piece of wood and each of them have the name of a park. Uh, this one is a state park somewhere and um, usually when these wood slices are stamped that is where the wood came from and if these state parks have gift shops this may be where the item was purchased. 
Um, anyway, so nice little pieces. And I sold these two as a set for $18 plus shipping. This is another order from my Etsy shop. Uh, this is a novelty mirror that says, Caution! Person is entering this room subject to attack. Uh, it's very pretty red and blue and white lettering. Um, on the back here, uh, it has a stamp or sticker that says the name of the company and made in the USA 1974. So this is a nice old piece. Um, I was thinking maybe it was something that was from a carnival. Um, I remember seeing a lot of this stuff growing up at the different carnivals that would come around uh, to win a prize. You would get some weird little knickknack like this. But anyway, this uh, sold today on Etsy for $15 plus shipping. Uh, I picked this up at a thrift store uh, many months ago for $1.99.